It was Saturday morning around 11 o'clock. An arrest warrant states a man named Nestor Hernandez went to Methodist Dallas Medical Center. He was visiting his girlfriend and their newborn. In a room on the fourth floor of labor and delivery, Hernandez pulled out a gun. His girlfriend told police he hit her in the head multiple times. And the affidavit reads, Hernandez sat on the couch in the room and stated, we are both going to die today, as well as whoever comes in this room is going to die with us. A social worker, Jacqueline Pakua, walked into the room. The warrant states Hernandez shot and killed her. Annette Flowers, a nurse, was in the hallway when she heard the gunshot. The warrant states she looked into the room and was also shot and killed. A Methodist police officer eventually took cover and shot the suspect in the leg, taking him down. Nestor Hernandez is now in custody. It's important to rewind this timeline for context. In 2015, Hernandez was in prison for aggravated robbery, released on parole in 2021. Police say he was arrested twice this year for parole violation and released both times. Hernandez was allowed to be at the hospital, but not allowed to have a gun. In terms of safety, the hospital says they have their own police force, new camera systems and ongoing active shooter training. They've scheduled additional meetings with their safety and security committee. Going forward, steps need to be taken on many levels, looking back at the sacrifice of these frontline healthcare workers who lost their lives. In Dallas, I'm Tiffany Liu.